I wanted people to see it as art. Glass is fluid color. If you close your eyes and had to describe to somebody what something looked like, um, what the patterns were and the colors were that defined it, that's what I'm working with. I'm Nancy Seaton and I'm a fused glass artist and I live on the Gunflint Trail outside of Grand Marais. So when I work I just kind of lay things down in layers. It was a really bright sunny day about four years ago and I was working in here and I said forget about whatever you thought you're doing. It's a colorful day and I just made rainbows or you know rainbow pattern. I said it's a rainbow totem and it just sort of came out that way and ever since you know and then I realized yeah that's exactly what it is. Here's a loon a little bit bigger than the piece I've been working on but it they're, they're siblings. I said there's got to be a way to do a loon I but I didn't even try and I just woke up one day and it's like ah this is how I'm going to do it. What I like is that it's a a strong statement about a loon instead of, you know, a, a sweatshirt with a loon on it. Dragonfly is something I've done a lot. Drawing them and cutting them, it's just sort of a pattern that I've always um, been drawn to. This will be what actually goes under the glass. So when the glass melts, we'll get all kinds of pillows going down with the veining coming in. So it'll look like this, which gives the piece some breath. It lends um, a changeability to things. All the fun happens here. <laughs> this wonderful facility at the Grand Marais Art Colony is here, the, a warm glass studio. If you wanted to imagine a perfect place to spend your winter, that's what this is. When you're working, you've got all this colored glass surrounding you. It's, I don't know, it's just kind of perfect. Okay, so this is a Lake Superior piece that I've got waves of color and then the same um, kiln carving that I did, I just put some waves in that'll Make the light bounce around the way it does. Okay. The fluidness of the finished piece, I, I like that. It makes you think that it's still wiggling around when you look the other way. Right now, a lot of my glass is coming from birds. So they're inspired by birds. It's taking nature's palette. You can't really improve upon it. So um, copy it. <laughs>